I've made a copy of ODB 46, and I'm calling this one ODB 47 Edit Form Part 1. In this video, we're going to start an employee edit form similar to what we did when we had all our data on a single table. We're in Forms. I'm going to click on Use Wizard to create form. We want to go down to our employee table. I'll select everything, clicking on the double arrow. Next. We want to add a subform, so I'm clicking the checkbox. And this time, we do have some existing relations, so I can click that. We have the department relationship and the employee phone. We want the employee phone. I'll add everything in here. Click in that double arrow. Next. To arrange the icons, on our main form, I'm going to select in blocks, labels above. And for our subform, I'm going to leave this as data sheet. Setting the data entry, I'm going to leave that as is. Next. I'm going to select the gray style with the 3D look. And we'll give this the name ODB 47 Employee Edit Form. Down here, do I want to work with the form or modify the form? I want to modify the form and click Finish. So the form has all the fields I want on it but I don't like the field arrangement we have right now. So we're going to move things around a little bit. I'm going to start with our subform. Clicking that, I'm going to make it a little smaller. Now it's a little too small, we'll fix that later. I'm clicking off it. And now I'm going to click on this select arrow and select everything and move that down using my arrow key, my down arrow because I want room at the top for a header. I'm going to click on the label field. With that on there, I'm going to right click, select control. We want this to be LBL-header. And we'll call this employee edit form. I'm also going to come down to this font and click on the dot 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 box that will bring up our dialog. We'll leave the default font. I'm going to make it bold and make it a little larger, maybe 22 or 24. Come over to font effects and add in an underline, a single underline. That's looking good. Now I'm going to start rearranging the fields on the form. We'll start with the employee ID. I'm going to hold down control and click on the employee ID label. Bring up that control. And I want this just to say ID instead of employee ID. We can make this a little smaller. Now holding down control and clicking on the employee ID text box making that a little smaller as well. I'm going to center this over the top a little better. Now the last name, clicking that, it's grabbing both the label and the text box. I'm just using my arrow key to move that over. Now I'm holding down control and clicking on the text box to make this a little smaller. First name, Left arrow to bring that over, holding down control and clicking on the text box and making that a little smaller. The gender, I'm going to move this over to the side to make room for the address. And I'm just using my arrow key to move this over. And we don't need this quite so large either so I'm going to click on control in the text box and make that a little smaller 
Same with the city, holding down control and clicking the text area. And the zip code, this one can even be smaller. And we've got a state. Let's bring down the state and make this text box smaller. Actually, I'm going to move the state to the left of the zip. I'm going to move gender again over to the side because I want my department ID and my group ID. So I'm holding down shift to select them both and use my arrow keys to move that up and over a little bit. Underneath that, we'll have start date and end date. Gender, I'm hitting my left arrow to bring that back and down. I want to make this text box smaller, holding control to select only the text box and the hourly wage. Clicking on that and bringing it up. Holding control, selecting the text box to make it just a little bigger. And we also want to move our employee pick. I'm going to put that right in the center. And again, holding down control, clicking on the picture area. I'm going to make that a little smaller. I'm also going to make it a little longer so it kind of matches up with the top and the bottom of our text boxes. Now back to our subform, clicking that. I can make that a little larger. And I'll make the notes area a little bigger as well as the description. But I'm going to bring in the total length of the box a little bit. Now that's pretty good, but my boxes aren't lining up exactly, so I'm going to select the ID, hold down shift and click on last name, first name, department ID, group ID, right click and align those all to the top. Now I'm clicking off and back on ID, holding down shift, clicking address, city, state, and our subform. Right clicking, align left. I'm clicking off to deselect everything. Address, employee picks, start date, end date, alignment top. City, gender, hourly wage, align top. And state and zip, align top. Align top. Now these two look pretty good, but these I need to select, holding down shift. Alignment left. And I want to move this over a little. So when I align left, the group ID will be my far left. Align left. I will save the form. And I'm going to click on our design view to see how it looks. There's still a few more changes I want to make, like having the department name show up instead of the department ID and the group name show up instead of the group ID. We'll take care of that in the next video. Yeah.